Good morning, everybody. Semi-retired Bob here. I talk about the carnivore diet, all things related to the carnivore diet, and miscellaneous odds and ends. Today, we're going to talk about fat. Just a quick little talk about one of the myths that will not die. Hey, before we get too far into this video, I did want to take a quick time out and show you a little uh, thing that I filmed outside of my walk. Big thank you to Barbara who sent this in via my Amazon wish list. Check this out, guys. Oh, you guys, look at this. A very special thank you to Barbara. I don't say last names on this channel, but you know who you are, Barbara. I got a package from Amazon yesterday, and look at this, folks. Look at this. This is a complete screwdriver set for my electric screwdrivers that I bought. It's got screws, screwdrivers and nut nuts for nut drivers and hexers and all sorts of basically everything you could possibly ever want for working on stuff and things so this is going to come in very handy as i'm trying to put my roof together over top of my shipping container thank you again very much to barbara thank you so so much for those of you new to the channel let me say welcome i'm glad you're here it is a beautiful morning here in omaha nebraska well it's not really morning it's coming up on 11 30 because I got out of bed really late but basically what you're watching here is you're watching me walk <clears throat> 15 and a half months ago I couldn't do this I could barely stand for two to two and a half minutes without severe pain now I'm out here walking every day I'm not going super far today because I got a big walk in last night I didn't get anything filmed yesterday. Because Saturday night I worked at the miniature golf course and as I stated in a, I don't remember if it was on the YouTube community tab or in my Facebook group, but it was, by the time you factor in the humidity, it was 50 degrees cooler this Saturday than the previous Saturday out at work. So I was busy. And when it's super busy, I don't get to sit down much. And, you know, I'm, I'm, I am mostly healed from where I was. But when it gets super busy and I stand for four, five, six hours with very minimal breaks, and I was actually out of work for seven and a half hours on Saturday. Ended up staying late because it was busy. It took me a long time yesterday to get up, get out of bed, get things moving. But anyway, the whole purpose of this channel is to show you that it's never too late to change your life. I'm 60 years old. I'm doing things now I never thought I could do. Again, after, you know, many decades of not being able to do it, cutting my own grass doing my own yard work, going to the Y four days a week and working out, doing push-ups and pull-ups, not a true pull-up, a wall pull-up. Someday I'm hoping maybe I can do a, a pull-up again. I haven't actually done a pull-up since I was in the Army. But for those of you returning to the channel, welcome back. I'm glad you're here as well. It means an awful lot that you spend part of your day with me. But this really quick topic that I wanted to talk about today, fat. But not just any old subject of fat. Let's talk about does saturated fat cause diabetes? I had somebody jump into my comments 
and make that claim. I forget what the comment was. It was something like, yeah, you know, you're never going to be healthy without eating sugar and you're going to end up with diabetes eating all that fat. Well, they must not have ever seen my channel before. Because I reversed my type 2 diabetes on this diet. And not just a little bit. My A1C went from 10.3 down to 4.8. And it's been holding steady at 4.8. <clears throat> but I was curious. I went out and took a quick look. I did a, <clears throat> a quick search on a very uh, widely used um, search engine and typed in does saturated fat cause diabetes and I was blown away by all the information I got from that I mean the short answer in the big box that pops up at the top of the screen just said yes and it was links to a whole bunch of articles and I actually read a few of them just to see where they were coming from and as I expected most of those were just food questionnaire studies that they'd looked at And they made the association that because these people were eating meat and they had diabetes, that that must be the cause. It's absolutely ridiculous nonsense out there. It's amazing how many people are being brainwashed daily by the ridiculousness of... The thought that saturated fat can cause diabetes. What is diabetes? According to Professor K, who is an expert in this field, says that the clinical definition of diabetes is elevated blood glucose. That's what it is. And we know from looking at a couple of actual study types that have been done that fats do not, I was starting to say some sciencey stuff, and we all know I got to stay away from the sciencey stuff. But the thing I'd like to point out is that now, again, you can't call it cause and effect. Because it is still just a, you know, a questionnaire style study. But I believe it was Dr. Westman in his group. Because, you know, he runs a, a clinic out of Duke University. Just a little small school down the south, Duke University. Where he talks about, in his patients that come into his diabetes and obesity clinic using nutritional ketosis, which is, you know, high fat, low carb. You can, you can go to his site and look up all the foods he recommends versus what he doesn't recommend. But the bottom line to his study is that 97% of his patients see improvement in their diabetes symptoms. And I forget what the exact breakdown was, you know, it was like half saw complete reversal. And then there were a couple other groups, you know, there was my my guess, and this is just a guess, this is just my opinion. My guess is that tiny little 3% wedge that could not, that did not see improvement, 
were so damaged from a lifetime of, of diabetes doing damage to their body that they were past the point of not being able to, to see some healing. I'm not exactly sure what the, the physiological mechanism for all that would be, but it's something worth looking into. But anyway, fat does not give you diabetes, saturated fat. Fats in the form of seed oils might because they are oxidative and put stress on the body and do all sorts of other damage. But that's a topic for another day. The other quick thing I wanted to talk to you about real, real quick, and I think I'm going to try and do a quick little exercise video tomorrow just to show you what all I've been doing. But I've been doing my slow grind push-ups and all the stuff for about two months now. And I definitely have some muscle. I won't say I have guns. You know, if you look at Jonathan and Nicole and all those people, they have guns. Me, I'm an old guy who spent the last five years avoiding lifting anything over five pounds because my chest wasn't fully healed from my heart surgery. So I was, I was definitely frail when I started this journey. I'm not frail anymore, obviously. I'm doing stuff. But I can definitely feel that I have muscle. And you can start, I can start to see them. I wish I could pull up my shirt and show you that I actually have a little bit of abs starting to show through. But... I can't do that. My ribs and sternum are so yucky looking that I just don't... I said when I started this journey that I was never going to appear on this channel topless with no shirt. And I'm certainly not going to start now just because I'm starting to get a little bulkier. Because my ribs and my sternum stick way out and it looks ugly. But I will attempt to come up and do a little uh, exercise video just to see... Just to show you what I'm doing. And... I'll wear a really short sleeve shirt so I can maybe show you my my arm muscles that I've gotten a little bit of. But anyway, the the whole purpose of the video today is to remind you to not fall victim to the ideologues out there on the internet. And there's a lot of them. They're going to tell you, well, you can't eat all that saturated fat. It's going to give you diabetes. No. If you're eating something with it, you know, like a hamburger at the, the, your favorite fast food restaurant, perhaps with the bun and everything else that goes with it, the special sauce, and I suspect even more guilty of all that is the fries that you get with that that are dunked in seed oil and the, the milkshake that you have with it or the big sugary drink that you have with it. None of the studies take that into account. I hope everyone had a great weekend. Thanks for stopping by today. That's what I've got for you today, folks. Don't forget, get out there, be 1% better. Today, tomorrow, every day. Have a great day, folks. I will see you in the next one.